Hello, everybody. First off, if you're wondering why I'm not looking or sounding too great, it's because I got COVID again. Yay! Uh, I'm in day three and a half, tail end, not as bad as the first time around. Uh, thanks for your concerns. Uh, we got fast pizza here. I apologize several times during the video for making it because it's not real. We're not making pizza from scratch, but it's fine. The reason it, it's good, it's better than buying a box pizza in a grocery store is it is fresh. We are using, you know, some some reasonably fresh ingredients. You are making it fresh. It's not something that was frozen and that came up. Excuse me a sec. Oh, I have to sneeze. Something that was uh, frozen six months ago. So uh, enjoy that. Plus, you know, you're making it yourself. It's a little fun, right? So enjoy the pizza. Uh, later on in the season, as noted, we'll do a real authentic one. And uh, hopefully by then I'll be feeling and looking a little bit better. Have a great day, y'all. Hello everybody, Mr. Clutch here. How are you? Today we're making fast and easy pizza. Now, I got to tell you, we're, you see as we get through this, we're cheating in every way possible here, which is the fast part. So, you know, as an Italian, um, if this uh, video ever makes its way overseas, over Italy, I might be banned from entry at this point because it is pizza but we are uh, cutting a lot of corners here for the sake of speed. So maybe later on in some other future episode, we'll do it the real way. But for today, we're just doing it quick. So what do we need? Uh, again, I'll get it up there. We need a pizza dough, pre-made. So this is a pre-made pizza dough. I did not make this dough. I bought it as is and I defrosted it and it's ready to go and we'll make us one pie. We need a little bit of uh, flour. We're gonna flour it a bit. We're gonna flour our hands a bit. We're gonna flour the pan here a little bit as we shape this guy. And then of course I'm using a canned sauce. I know, sorry. Uh, I'm using a uh, three-way cheese here which has gotta be really fresh mozzarella. And I'm gonna put some toppings on here. I'm gonna do a uh, partial pepperoni. Now the, the, uh, the real way to eat pizza is no toppings. It's just straight sort of as is, where is. But, like I said, we're doing this quick, trying to get a quick meal together, so away we go. So, you take this dough, again, you flour it up a bit, and really you want to just start to pull it, stretch it, and the goal here is to get it, and also, by the way, one other sidebar, my pizza pan is MIA, so I'm doing this in a, in a rectangle. But, you know, when you think about it, does the shape of a pizza really matter? No. So... I'm going to pull this out and really, you're going to let it sort of stretch on its own, really sort of do its own thing. And we drop it down again, hit the flour. I'm going to sort of pull it. You know, the, a normal sized pizza dough will get you a 12 to 14 inch of pie. I'm going to lift it up again, let it sort of thin itself out, sort of stretch. Going to bounce it a little bit if you want. You know, you've seen this happen in the movies. Uh, I got it nice and thin here now. And of course, you want the crust to not be as thin, so you're going to leave a little thickness around the outskirts. Stretch it out. Okay. We got it here. We're looking good. That was actually pretty quick, quicker than I thought. And we now have this ready to go to add our sauce and cheese. Time to add our sauce. It, again, it sort of pains me to do this, but I'm using this sort of canned pizza sauce here and pick it up at a grocery store. Just gonna dump it right in the middle here, nice and easy. I'm gonna use a little uh, plastic guy here to sort of move it around. Obviously you wanna cover uh, all the pie. Just sort of spread it a bit. I mean, this is about as easy as it gets, right? Not a lot of uh, complications here. Leave some uh, area of crust unsauced. Nice and easy. Now, next up is our cheese. And again, I'm using sort of a three-way here. You can really use any kind of cheese you want. It's sort of up to you. And I'm just gonna pick it up and just sort of sprinkle it or drizzle it on like that. Also pretty easy. Okay. Don't get the cheese. And then like I said, typically this would be it. Right? 
but I am going to add some pepperoni. I'll tell you what, I'm going to make it half pepperoni, half plain, because I really do prefer try one, pretty good. Um, pizza that does not have toppings, but so I'm going to drop some pepperonis on half of this guy. Well, you typically don't eat while you cook, but I am hungry. So I threw a couple of pepperonis on here. Good to go. Um, good idea is while you're doing all this, and I sort of forgot, uh, preheat the oven to 450. So oven needs to be set to 450. I'm going to set that now. All right, the oven's preheated. We're sort of ready to go here. One other note that, you know, we sort of use the flour to sort of soften things up. We also, of course, want to grease the bottom of your pizza pan, circular or square. If you're really, since we're, we're, we're cutting corners and cheating all the way, you might as well just use Pam, but of course I threw some olive oil uh, down in here. Not Pam, but Pam's fine too. So we are simply going to put this at the uh, top rack of the oven for 15 minutes. We're going to come back and we're going to enjoy some pizza. Ooh, top in there. All right, 15 minutes has passed. We're done here. The uh, alert just went off. We're going to pop this guy out. Of course, suit up for safety. And here we got your quick and easy pizza. I'm going to take a look at this in a minute and wrap things up and get ready to chow down. Of course, the last step here before enjoying this fantastic looking pie is we're going to cut it up in slices. And we're going to use this uh, swanky uh, metallic pizza slicer here. Now, again, we didn't go with a traditional circle pie here, so we're just going to cut this into squares. Slice any size you want. Cut it this way. Make some sort of smaller slices, more like an appetizer here. And uh, that's it. We are all wrapped. So, again, this is been sort of what I'm calling fast and easy or uh, sort of quick and easy pizza where we're cutting a lot of corners in terms of using a pre-made dough, pre-made sauce, pre-made cheese and all that jazz. Uh, we will get around at some point in the season here to doing this really from scratch sort of the hard way. But for now, I'm going to enjoy a little pie. This is Mr. Clutch saying so long.